Okay. Okay, team, we are coming at you tonight with our third video on our training for streak. In the first video, we talked about um, basically how to set up a pipeline and what some of the basic terminology is, because really is getting used to um, what the words mean. That's, that's part of the learning curve. And then Allison shared a second video where she took a deeper dive into how to get organized. Um, I'm going to work on getting both of those videos in one file because um, right now they're not. I thought they were, but they. Um, I started a file today, mine is there, I just have to get Allison's in there and then I'll put this one in there also so that anybody that wants to at any time take this leap and move your tracking to Google Streak, you'll be able to access everything in one place. Um, what we basically want to continue to encourage you guys is if you are serious about this business, um, and when I say that, I mean, you can be a slow approach hobby coach or you could be a full go launch business building coach. It will still be to your benefit to have a system in place to keep you organized. And that is what this is. In my, in my opinion, this is a business organizational tool. And it allows you to not miss things, which is what was happening to both Allison and I with pen and paper and with even with the Excel document that we were trying to do. There are things you can pay for like Teamsy, um, but this is right now a free tool. You, you can use it to manage your leads and the conversations that you're having when you're inviting people. And you can also use it as a workflow or um, Keeping, keeping you on track and not missing things as you're bringing people in. And so we're going to talk about both of those areas, a little bit about your um, managing of your leads, also how you can use it for um, your workflow. So I will share my screen. Okay, so if you're here, you've already, you're on this third video, then by now you already have your Google streak. Um, added to your Gmail account and your Google streaks will be over here um, on the left. So just for a very quick review, you, you can have pipelines for as many areas of your business that you want to track. And one thing that Allison brought up in her video that I just wanted to clarify is very important that first to note that our pipelines may all look different. However, your pipelines should be similar across your pipeline. So whatever you decide needs to is important for you to have in terms of these um, columns, they need to be the same across all of your pipelines. Otherwise, when you go to move someone from one pipeline to another, the information that you had in that column will be lost. And the, there's some really cool features um, that you want to be able to keep all of this information as you transfer um, people from one person to the pipeline to the next. And then again, the other clarification I have is that Allison and I are still very new streak users. And so there might be other ways to do this, but right now we're just kind of sharing what we know. The first way that I want to um, show you is how I've been using streak to manage my conversations when I'm inside of my power hour time when I'm supposed to be inviting. Okay. So what happens first is in your first pocket of time, you should be looking for new people to add. So I usually have either Facebook or my Instagram open and I'm going between tabs. I'm looking for the people, looking for friends, either in my friends, um, in groups that I'm in or selectively going through friends of friends that are not coaches to try to find friends and then, or searching hashtags on Instagram. When you have somebody that is a lead that comes to you or a name that comes to you, they go in, that this will be the ad of your power of three form, okay? So your leads, go in, your leads go in there, and then I have broken down my pipeline to take me through the stages of forming them all the way through to whatever I'm inviting them to them to 
a few follow-ups in there and then not interested or no answer, not right now. Look at all my no's. <laughs> that explains the last few months. Okay, so that is, um, that is what my customer prospects pipeline looks like. Now, you can set your timer as you're going through this for your blocks of time. So 10 minutes adding people, 10 mes messages, 10 minutes sending, hey girl, thank you for commenting on my post from yesterday, and then et cetera, et cetera. What I want you guys to see is that um, you can keep track of how many days the people are in your stage. That's very helpful. These people need to get out of there because they've been there too long. Um, and But they might be in a forming stage a little bit longer. Um, the thing that is helpful, I'm going to try to show you guys, um, is I'm using the comments for tracking the conversations, okay? Because you want it, you can, I have a few extra tabs Allison doesn't have, date of last comment or date of last interaction. And what that means basically is, um, let's see, somebody that I, okay, so Christy Bostorf Miller is someone I've been chatting to, with for a while. But let's say I, um, she's not a good one. You can use the comments section here to say, to actually what I will do is uh, if I am having a conversation in Facebook, this is a good one. So Kim Kreider is someone I'm talking with right now. I might copy her, her message. Oh, she's got a long message. I haven't even responded to this yet. So I am forming with this person, Kim Kreider, right now. It's not letting me copy and paste it. So I would copy her message and whatever my answer is, and I would go back into my streak and I would copy and paste a message in here and then hit post. Now I know if I go back in my pipeline under Christy Miller, it's gonna be updated and let me know that I had some kind of an interaction with her on January 9th. So it keeps, you, it keeps track of how often you are kind of Talking to those people encourages you to move them forward. And then kind of like um, TeamZ, another tracking tool, you can actually see what you were talking about. So for example, um, this Mine at Your Court, someone I'm talking with right now, you can go to the comment section and you can see exactly what we've been talking about and kind of the conversations that we're having. So that's another way to... Um, help you keep track of the things you're talking about. Okay, and any emails, if I had emailed her, they would all be, and you can see why that's important, moving her forward through the pipeline that I would have all that information. Okay, so I'm copying and pasting Facebook messages from Messenger into my comment section. That's one thing I'm doing during my power hour. And another really, really valuable tool, like Allison talked about in her last video, is the power of following up and not letting people fall off because there's no reminder. So if you're going to have Google Streak on your computer, I highly recommend also downloading the app because we are busy, crazy running moms and dads, and a lot of what we do is on the go. Your Google Streak will sync to your phone and your computer. You can add boxes. You can set tasks. You can do a lot on that phone and you can have those those minutes of time, those seconds of time sometimes to add up to your power hour. What is very, very helpful is adding a task. So let's say you're having a conversation with someone and they say, you know what, I'm not ready right now, but contact me in the new year. And I, I actually had this happen. I had set a reminder for someone to follow up in January and it the reminder popped up for me today. So let's say Mina says, um, oh no, I thought you could do it from here now, Allison. Gosh darn it, she's not on. The task, um, shoot, I thought we thought this upgraded. Okay, so it's possible that you cannot add a task here. Let's see. Nope, okay. So at the current moment, at least with my computer at the current second, um, if you want to add a task for a reminder, you have to do it through Google Streak. I thought Allison said they updated this. Shoot. Sorry for not checking. But the thing about that is, so on your, on your Google Streak app, if you're working inside your list, you, you have the ability to set a task in your phone 
in the box of the person that you want. And then I actually set the reminder for the task to come to me at my specific power hour time. So I know what my working time, I, I know what, for the most part, what time I'm doing my inviting on my days that I'm at home. And I set that reminder to come in to my inbox at that time. And I can actually show you because it happened, like I said, just today. So here's a few, this is what it looks like. So these are reminders that I had set for myself. Here's one right here. So um, this morning in my inbox showed up the reminder from Streak to connect on ShakeOut. She says, connect Shaky Task. So she actually had told me that she wanted to talk about Shakeology in the new year. So I sent her an email today. And if you go to my sent mail, you'll be able to see that. Where is she? I did. I sent a few emails today, I guess. I should be able to find her quicker than this. I actually should be able to find her if I go into my, um, if I search Joe Robinson, there she is. There she comes up. And so, where did I put her email? And so here she is all together. Yep, so here is the email I sent her today and it is all together in her pipeline. This is her pipeline that I'm in. And there's the follow-up that I sent her today asking if she was ready to talk about Shakeology again. So tasks, I guess right now you have to still set from your phone. And when you're in your power hour, you can copy and paste your conversations um, into your um, the comment section to keep you aware of what you know kind of things are important that you are talking to them about. The next piece that I want to dive into is how streak so that's how they keep it streak helps you manage your leads and not let things fall off. Um, Wendy, do you have questions before I go from there? No, good. You're good. Okay. okay. Um, so the next thing I'll talk about is how it can help you manage your workflow. And again, I know that I have missed missed things when I bring on a new uh, client or when I bring on a new coach. You have steps that you want to go through. So you can also use Google Streak to help you manage your uh, time that way. So I wanna sort of talk about, if we go into, um, um, let's, let's actually, let's go through like what, it, what I used for, also for my clean week group. So, so for many groups, um, you have emails that you wanna send out and you have a flow of things that you wanna do and it's always the same, right? You can use your streak for your groups, for bringing on new coaches, for bringing, um, for monitoring your current Beachbody customers um, and communicating with them for, um, what else? Your current challengers, that sort of thing. So for my Clean Week group, the, there's some very important things that I wanna go over here. The first is snippets, and I think I sort of went into this um, a little bit on the first video. But if there is an email that you are gonna send and it is gonna be the same every time, you can use this for your leads. You can create snippets for your leads and you can create snippets for your, your onboarding coaches and your snippets for within your groups. Okay, so what you do, the easiest way I think to create a snippet is to actually just go to compose and you're going to use this button right down here. You click on snippet and you're gonna say, make this draft a snippet. So let's say I want to send a, um, a closing email for the people that were in my clean week. You have to give it a name. Okay. And the other thing that you do right here is you name which pipeline it's going to. So this is gonna to go to Clean Week um, November. So you, you name it, so you'll be able to easily sort it over here on the right-hand side. And then you can type your snippet. This is what it's gonna look like when, when it's saved. So here you put the body of your text and you know thank you for the whatever, for a great week submit your results, whatever you're going to do here, okay? And what I, what I have noticed is um, 
I, I remove my signature here because it, I have inside of my um, email, I have my signature saved. So if you don't delete it from there, you're gonna have two. So what you do at that point is you literally hit create, which I'm not gonna do right now. But if you hit create, then it's gonna bring it, oops, over to the side. So here's a snippet, okay. So now let's say I'm inside of my Clean Week group and I wanna send a snippet. I have all of these snippets already composed, okay. So what that also means, and it's a humongous time saver, it's why we went through with Allison how when you, either when you bring someone in from your coach online office and you, you want to have their email address in there, or you get you know a connection with somebody, you want to get their email address in there because from here you can send emails to your entire to your entire list. We call it a mail merge. So let's say it's the beginning of a group and I have all of my ladies that I'm going to send my welcome email to. So you literally just select all of them, which if they're all in the same box, you can just click on that big, big box. Allison's is sending me a boxer. So you would click on all of those, okay? And if you hit this button right here, it's start a mail merge. Start a mail merge. Now you can also start a, create a snippet from right here if you didn't do it already you know, and you're kind of working on the go. But if you, if you already have the snippet done, let's say it's month two now that you've done your clean week, you click on snippet, they're all organized according to what they are. So you go to clean week, welcome email, double click, the whole entire email pops up that I send someone when they're starting clean week. Right now it's set to go to seven people because I have all of their email addresses in there. See how the double, see how the double email, the double signature came up. You literally just have to hit send at that moment and your welcome email is sent out in like a minute. <laughs> okay, so the snippets take some time to set up, especially the first time you do it but it's gonna save you a ton of time moving forward. You can create a snippet for anything that you regularly send out. So thank you letters for your, your, your leads, you know, and all of the communications that you might do inside your groups, huge, huge time saver. So this was the mail merge button up here. Does that make sense, Wendy? Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay, so that is, that is basically um, what I wanted to talk about there. Mail merge is this. This is um, if you're working with someone and you want to change, there's a couple different ways, ways to change the stage when you're working with someone. You can actually do it. Um, I'll go into my customer prospects one. So let's say I realize I've been talking to Holly long enough. If I click on that little button, you can change the stage of someone here at that point or you can also where'd she go who would i just do that for <laughs> i can also change the stage of someone by clicking here and then moving her um you know back around there so there's a couple different ways to to use that button um and then let's say you have somebody who um has gone all the way through your customer prospect pipeline and they signed up and they're a customer now you could use this box right here to move that person into your um like new customer new customer flow and everything would follow through with them to the to their next one okay the last thing that i wanted to um talk about with organization and staying on track is um how you can use um oh how do i want to describe it um you can basically send yourself an email. You can do a you can do a couple things with this. So I know when Allison gets a when she has a customer order, she has 
the customer, email her a copy of their order confirmation. And she saves that in their pipeline, in their box, because then she has their um, order number in the last four of their credit card, and it sometimes allows her to make um, online chats, you know, for the for that person. The other thing that I like to do is um, if I'm having a conversation with someone, I just did this with uh, my new coach, Chris, Christine. Um, I like to take notes as I'm talking to either potential coaches or getting my coaches started right um, or, ch or potential um, challengers. I like to take notes. Well, what you can do then is when you're taking your notes on the piece of paper, you take a picture of it with your phone. You take a picture of it with your phone and you send it to yourself and it comes up like this to yourself, no subject. You could put the subject in there if you want. At this point right here, these are the notes I took when I did my getting started right call with Christine. What you do here is you go up to this button here and you click on box and you, you tell, tell, you, tell yourself where you want it to go. So this is Christine Graham, and I want it to actually be, she's got a couple boxes. I actually want it to be, that's weird, because she's actually, I have a new coach flow. That's weird. I went through this before, hold on. New coach onboarding, that's where I thought she should be. Oh, I call her Chris Graham. We'll look at that, there you go. Okay, so go back into the email. Click on her, put her in the box. Probably should have, she's been in a lot of uh, my boxes, I guess. So there is probably some things I have to, again, I'm new and kind of learning, so I might not be doing all this right. But now when I go back to her, in my um, new coach onboarding, if I click on her box, her picture should be here. There it is, okay? So it gives you, and now her conversation is in there and her goals and that sort of thing. So anytime um, somebody sends you pictures or measurements or you have conversations with them, you can send yourself a picture of it, put add it to their box, and um, it's just, again, a way to help you kind of not lose things. So that is all I wanted to go over in terms of tracking. Any questions? So I, um, I worked on it a little bit this weekend, and it looks like an awesome system. But, like, how long did it take you to, like, create all those snippets and stuff for those emails? I mean, it seems like. Yeah, I mean, probably well, up front, it would, probably would take a while, don't you think? Or? Yeah, up front, it takes a while. But here's the thing. My clean week group now is done. Right, right. So yeah. you, Just the initial you, setup. Yes. <coughs> okay, yeah. The initial setup will take, it'll be, you know, it'll be like what it normally would be. Right. One or two more clicks. But then the next time, and so that's, that's the beauty of it moving forward. Right now, it would be wonderful if we could share snippets, and you might be able to if you paid for the version. We could copy and paste it, you know, in documents for you guys, but, um, and maybe we will. But basically, you do a little bit of the work up front. Right, it'll pay and, off. And then it pays off. And yeah. then also, if there ever does come a time where you have somebody that is helping you, even if that's a child <laughs> who mm -hmm. helps me a lot, it's, it's very, um, it's a system. It is a system and that is the most important thing, you know, yeah, it looks really cool, clearly defined. So it is scary and overwhelming. It, it, it was why we said no for a long time, but, um, we really are hoping that you guys will take the leap of faith and let us show you how to do this because, you know, it's right. it, it's going to be really good. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, that was good. You know what? You just like the easiest way for me to start was with my free group. I think right. um, not a complicated pipeline. 
So I started with that. And then I, then I just started my customer prospects one and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to start adding a couple names. Just don't let the fear hold yourself back. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously mine's not, um, but it just, just start it, you know? And then when right. you're ready to do your lead emails, then start that pipeline. You know, you're starting a new coach, start that pipeline, <laughs> you know, just, you don't have to do it all. You just have to kind of do it as you go it for a little while. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. So thank you for Wendy. You yeah. hop on when you don't yeah. feel well. <laughs> thank you. And um, we will figure out a game plan for sharing what's next. But basically with these three videos, you should feel like you have enough information to get started. Do you, Wendy? Yes, definitely. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Give it a try and then let us know what questions you have. And yep. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Thanks.